Belgian beer being brewed 20 minutes from my house, that makes me very happy. It's beer o'clock, and from the Belgian brewer, we have a bottle of his double coming in at 7.5% ABV. Now, as you know, um, I went over to the Belgian Brewer Brewery in Bishop Stortford, 20 minutes from my house um, last Saturday, and had an interview with Nick, who uh, runs it, and yeah, his beers are fantastic. He's a really, really passionate um, guy when it comes to beer. Um, and this is his double. So, tell you a bit about this double. Um, he's always liked his beer strong and dark. <laughs> And he stumbled across this recipe um, from a, an old brewing book from a monastery. And he was actually surprised that they actually put um, caramel, caramelized sugar in it. So he sort of tried a few things and eventually he got what he wanted. And here it is. So without further ado, we're going to crack this open. And we'll give it a go and see what it's like. I've tried this last week and it is actually fantastic. So, really, really sorry. It's my, my review, unless this is a bad bottle of beer, my review is going to be, you know, a good review on this beer because it is, it is that good. You know, Nick, he is... He's so passionate about his brewing. He's, he's unreal. Um, and he's a perfectionist. So his every beer that he brews is, is going to be pure perfection. Which is good. I like that. So in the glass, you know. you just got to look at this in the glass. And, you know, it just screams a very, very good looking double. You know, it's... It's very brown. There's no no readiness there at all. Usually when you hold it up to the light with some doubles, you can see a readiness through there, especially towards the bottom. But no, there's no readiness there at all. This is dark brown. It's got a lovely one and a half finger off-white head to it, a very, very tight foam, as you can see. Let's get the aromas. You're getting chocolate on the nose. <sighs> and roasted malts. The chocolatiness to this, it actually smells like you've walked into a chocolatier in Bruges. If you've ever been to Bruges and you've gone into one of these chocolatier shops, You'll know the smell I'm on about. Um, yeah. Cracking smell. Um, let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. This is where you get the, car the, the, the the sugar straight away it's like caramelized demerara sugar it's it's quite creamy for a double Nick prefers his beers to have body. So, you know, whereas some doubles are, are quite thin on the ground, this one's more, more creamy, um, more fuller bodied than, it's even probably fuller bodied than, than a, which I consider one of the best doubles out there, which is a West Mile double. Um, it's even more fuller bodied than that. You know, um, you know, trap doubles, 
any of these, you know, um, serious doubles, even uh, West Vlettering, Travis Rochefort, you know, they're a lot thinner than what this is. It's quite a bitter double as well. And the bitterness lasts all the way through. But <laughs> it's a fantastic, it's a fantastic beer. Um, you want to serve it at around sort of 10 degrees. Um, this, was, this was sort of about 8 degrees when I took it out of the fridge. But it soon rises while I'm doing this, this review anyway. This also won first prize at, um, at Brucon in London for the Belgium Strong Beer category, believe it or not. Um, so, you know, it's got all the traits to be a very, very good beer. And, and it is, I'm, there, there are people that are watching this who don't like the doubles, don't like your Belgium doubles. Well, oh, seriously, you know, look at the lacing on that glass. How that laces that glass, absolutely fantastic. If you don't like your doubles, seriously try this because it is so different, because it's, it's got more body to it. It puts it on a level, a different level to a normal, to a normal double. Um, I also, when I was when I was over there over the brewery last week, I got um, I asked him to um, pour some. I had a double. I was drinking a double at the time, and I asked Nick to pour some triple in a glass, and then I topped it up. With, with the double, 50-50, like, like they do in West Mal, which is the trip trap. And he looked at me and he sort of, he sort of went, I better, he cut his hand out, he said, I'll put my hand out ready to take that off of you so I can like put it down the sink. And I said, no, 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 let's try it. Let's see how good your triple and your double are. Because if they're really, really good, you'll be able to blend, they'll be able to blend together as a trip trap. And well, that's what happened. And it's, He's like to mix the two. He's he's treble, he's triple, and he's double together. Is a fantastic drink, fantastic trip trap that would work out about eight percent because he's 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 triple is nine and a half, um, and this is seven and a half. So you add the two together and uh, and you basically divide it by two. So you know you've got you got. 17 17% 17 yeah, 17 so it's about eight and a half a trip trap eight and a half percent um yeah and it worked really well and actually nick reckons he's gonna um do a do a um a day when he gets um some more of this done and a triple on tap and he's actually gonna or i think he's gonna when he gets the, the triple and the double on tap together he's gonna offer the trip trap um, for people, so they can have the half and half trip trap while they're over there. But yeah, as a as a double, this is really really good. I'd actually like to cook, try to cook with this as well. Um, I might even try and uh, make my famous uh, my beer bread with this. I reckon it go down really well because it's. It's more bitter than uh, a lot of doubles. A lot of more double, a lot of other doubles are sweeter, and I think it would give a different twist on the bread. Um, also, uh, I'd like to try, you know, the, the the famous famous Flemish stew with it, and see if that makes a difference. Because this 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 bitter, you know, if you used to put this against another a double, I'm going to use West Mall as an example. Um, West Mall will be sweeter. This is more bitter. This is more heavier bodied. Um, I actually, I think this this is up there, up there with the best doubles in the world, in my opinion. Um, 
and that's a credit to Nick because he knows his stuff. Um, he's from Belgium. Um, he knows his beers, and I think that that is what he wants to do. Is he wants to produce beers that are up there with the best, up there in the top ten of the world. And yeah, this is definitely as a double. It's up there in the top ten. His triples up there in the top ten. Um, his saison, which is which is be another one I'll be reviewing. That's absolutely cracking as well. His saison. Um, he's put a lot of time, effort, money, um, investment into this little brewery, and the end results that he's getting out of it is absolutely banging. I seriously, seriously recommend that you go on his website, which is the the Belgian Brewer .co .uk, um, and check him out and and buy some beers off of him. You know, he's only a little tiny one man band brewery. If you're passing, he's got on a Saturday, he's got the he's got the tap tap room. As soon as you walk in, he's got the tap room there where you can so you know he charges like three quid like a glass like well this is quite a large glass, a glass probably like that of beer, three quid, roughly. You know, that's cheap as chips. You're going to a lot of boozers, and I've seen they want like five, six quids now for, for a bottle of Duval, if not more. You know, I've seen triple, triple Carmelade for approaching seven quid in a boozer. Um, I mean, you think you can pop in there, three quid. It's a bargain, you know, straight out of the tap, straight at the brewery, three quid a glass. Um, and you can buy his bottles there. Um, and I think he has a bottle back service where if you buy these bottles of beer and then take the bottles back, you get a refund on the bottles and that sort of thing, which is, you know, very continental. But seriously, check this fella out. Check out my interview with him, that I did but check out his brewery and support it because you know oh, it's fantastic to have a a little brewery in the UK that is you know basically brewing Belgian beer but not just any old Belgian beer you know there's some of these these craft breweries oh they produce a saison it's not a proper saison this is proper authentic Belgian beer being brewed in the UK and that's got to be fantastic so check him out, give him a look. Um, you can buy his beer on his website. Yeah, just basically check him out, you know. Um, look, get hold of a bottle of this, try it, see what you think. You're gonna be so impressed. See what you think, leave a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review, hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel because without you subscribers, the channel's nothing. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.